Okay, so I just got Lizzie out with my dog Olive just a second ago. So not not 30 seconds yet. They've been outside together. And when they run off leash, this is typical of them. So I'll go for a little walk here. They are both almost the exact same age here, both born in January. And Olive, the chocolate one, is our personal dog who we've been raising since a puppy here. So, uh, <laughs> so they kind of both give it to each other. take a big off-leash walk and it's pretty much just like this for about 20 minutes straight otherwise olive is uh usually you know pretty low energy just kind of trotting around with us and lizzie as well is just great on the leash just happy to just go for a walk with you Olive over here. Olive, come. Lizzie, Lizzie, come. Good girl. Ah, ah. Settle down, both of you guys. See if I can get you guys to relax. Lizzie's probably going to be potty here. Lizzie, come on, go this way. Olive, That's enough. Lizzie! <laughs> now, of course, we had a little campfire last night, and I'm thinking there's some leftover hot dogs in the open fire pit. <laughs> She's smelling. Lizzie! Come! Come on! Good girl! Yes! There we go. Come on, let's go for a walk. Let's go this way. Oh, there we go. Roll around a little bit. Yeah, looks like they've kind of worked it out a little bit. Olive, come here. She's doing the potty dance. I'm looking for a place to go potty. Olive. Good girl. Yeah, there we go. I'd say they've mostly worked out their, <laughs> their zoomies. 
as they as they often do. And so now they're good. Of course, we do a lot of off-leash uh, <laughs> work and, and walks out here. We have a huge uh, piece of property here. We got a couple hundred acres, so it's uh, easy for us to, you know, do off-leash walks. But they both respond very well to recall. Um, you know, I don't personally work with Lizzie every day, and she still comes when called uh, for me really, really nicely, actually. A little potty. So when she's done, I'll call her over to me, see how she does. She'd be happy to be, uh... Lizzie, come! Good girl. Yes, good girl. Okay, let's go. Totally great off-leash, though, out in the fields, parks, whatever. Of course, she has a buddy with her who's also good off-leash. But really, our dogs don't ever run off and take off to where you can't get them. We, we just practice with treats, giving them the reward, that payday. Every time they come when called, we do that often so that, you know, they are accustomed to uh, responding when they hear that word come, uh, you know. Any random person that walks by and says that word, well, I'd say they're of a social personality enough that they might respond to them, but we would never expect a dog to respond to that word like it's a magical word that anybody could say. But it's more my tone, how I say it, uh, it's excited, uh, you know, excitable way that we say it, and they're accustomed to hearing it in that fashion and then getting the treats after. That's how we've gotten them used to being able to be off leash so often. And they do really well. And Lizzie is, uh, let's see, I think Olive is probably, oh, 45, almost 50 pounds. Almost the exact same as Lizzie here. I could get her on a scale a little later and see what she is. But she'll be, you know, in that 50-ish, 55-pound range full grown, I'd say. And they want to keep going that way, but I'm going to try to get them off of that path. And <laughs> Lizzie, come. Good girls. Good girls. Good girls. All right, let's go this way instead. Come on. And so at this age, I mean, I didn't bring any treats out here with me to work with them, but they, they they do very well. So periodically, it's good to get out the treats, work with them again so they don't forget. Uh, sometimes, you know, under heavy distractions, a dog might say, you know what, I haven't been paid in a while, not today. Uh, and that's, that's normal for an adolescent dog. Yeah, man, guys. Olive. Olive. That's enough. So I'll get plenty of exercise here for sure. And I'll see if I keep this video rolling all the way. So I get back up into the house here and we'll see that Lizzie has, well, what we call a good off switch. She, uh, you know, is able to settle down and not you know, she's not running around the house like this. Just on the outside. And we have our flower farm here as well. We grow thousands of dahlias. It's the end of the season. So all the plants are pretty much dead now. So I'll be digging these up here in about another week. Lizzie! Of course she smells, she knows that that piece of meat is over there in that fire pit area. So that's a high distraction. Lizzie, come! 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 Good girl. 
So I try, oh, I did it there a couple times. I wasn't sure if she actually was paying attention. I try to repeat a command over and over again, like the word come. The idea is that you work on it, make it so that they hear it. But I also like to never give a command to a dog until I have their attention and they're actually looking at me. That way I know they're listening. Uh, a dog gets highly distracted, facing the other way. It's gonna be much harder for them to actually even hear a command given. So we usually say their name. Once they make eye contact, boom, then we give the command. Olive outside. Go in here inside with Lizzie alone. And we'll do a little work on some commands. Of course, Olive wants to come in. Hi, Lizzie. Hi. Hey, sweetie. Awesome. <laughs> All right. Lizzie. would like to come in and join us. Lizzie's helping. Oh, yeah. Good girl. Uh -huh. So we're going to get it settled down here in the house. I'm going to pass this camera over off to Joey here. Just okay. keep uh, recording for a minute. Okay. There, so. <laughs> Lizzie, come here. She's still pretty excited. Yeah. Sit. Okay. 44 and a half pounds, almost 45. Mm -hmm. I thought she was a few pounds heavier, but that's about right. She'll probably pop out of it. You know, just over 50 pounds, I'd say. That kind of is a bit smart to have going to, so I can put in there. Uh, I'm just going to climb in there just to show what it's like. Lizzie. Come on. Kennel. Smaller kennel than normal. Yeah, shut the door there. And that is a bit small, but she's, you know, totally good in the kennel. She has no issues. She doesn't have to in this place. I just lay down after about, you know, 30 seconds. She probably can. Okay, so uh, when we let dogs out of a kennel, we expect them to not rush this gate. So, you know, they should not just charge out of here where she's doing very good. She waits until we give her the release and we say, you know, we tell her to wait, but she knows. Lizzie, come. Very good. So I'm going to do a little work on place command. Sit. Come down. So I'll sit down, and I'll stay. Again, I don't often work with Lizzie. I haven't personally worked with Lizzie in, boy, probably over, well over a month than the other trainers here. Um, but, you know, stay. Let's see if I can't get her to stay right there. I'll step outside. The goal is for her not to even move even if I go out of the line of sight. and come back. She's still holding the stay. Very good girl. Give her a treat. I haven't released her yet. Let's see how the distraction does. Somebody else is coming to the door. Here. Do you want to work? 
Hey, that's a major distraction. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, stay. That's a tough one. That's a tough distraction right there with her friend and Olive. Mm -hmm. right, I'm pretty happy with that level. Okay. Yes. Yeah, good, good job. Good job. Good job. Yeah, that was pretty good. That was really good. I should have down a little cop here real quick, which we often use for the place to be at. Let me take out a little bit of tie distractions. Oh. Okay. Go outside. All right. Lizzie, you got your toy. Just got a toy. Not told her what to do yet. Lizzie? There you go. Place. Give her a treat, give her a reward, so it's payday. Sometimes I'll use the hand signal just like the place of the stay command. But I want the stay command, the stay command to actually be slightly different than the place command. The place command is she can do anything she wants on a place. In this case, we often use one of these cots. Uh, this guy here, she has no distractions. Uh, she has definitely worked in this office space before, but we try to bring this cot to other places. So sometimes it can be one room. We also play, we do the place command outside sometimes. Uh, the goal is she can sit, she can stand, she can spin around in circles if she really wanted to, but the thing we don't allow her to do is to get off of this place. I should be able to, at this level of training, I should be able to leave the room, I should be able to go sit down in a chair, I should be able to have a phone call. Uh, and then we would practice bringing in distractions like somebody walking through the door, throwing a tennis ball across the floor, and we would correct her if she breaks it even with those distractions. So I'm going to give her just a little verbal, a little visual cue here that I have not released her with magic word. She should be able to sit down, and that sometimes tells a dog to come as well, so it can be a little distracting. But uh, she's doing good. Ideally, she should be able to hang on to this place command for you know, minutes. We want to get them worked up to a point where it's not unreasonable to have them stay there for 20 minutes or so. Um, and they can just sit down and relax. She would love to go play and do something else right now, but she's <laughs> being well under control. Okay. I didn't say that. Okay. Yes. There we go. That's the release word. Okay. From pretty much any command. Uh, now she's kind of free to hang out and play. Give her a treat just because she was being good. Do something for the treat. Sit. Good. Uh, okay, now it's free play. Do whatever you want, Lizzie. Hang out, play, get some toys. It's not place time, though. I didn't tell you to do that. No, you don't have to do that. Where's the ball? Get the ball. I love that ball. I got a nice ball here. <laughs> 